So I'm Dr. Don Gilman, graduate of Westmont in the engineering physics program back in the late 80s, <laughs> a while ago. So I speak geek, which is, which is good. What I find with a lot of the engineers that I work with, they can do quite a bit and they don't know whether they should or shouldn't because they don't have a frame. We want to make sure that when we're graduating engineering students, that they come out with the ability to communicate, the ability to navigate uh, moral challenges, the ability to be ethically concerned, the ability to work well with teams, the ability to care. So we really care more about developing the whole person and their purpose in life than we do just teaching them how to solve an equation of how much a beam deflects. I think Westmont prepared me for Northrop Grumman because of the liberal arts foundation that's tied in with the engineering education. That's a really unique to have on a resume and have going into an interview. Uh, to be able to be really personable, to be able to cover a wide variety of subjects. Because people want to hire someone that they want to work with. I started at Northrop as an intern through the Westmont Internship Program um, during my last semester and immediately after I got hired. So I've been there for about a year now and they're already asking me to head some major projects and it's amazing how far a diverse education can get you. So we're building this new building, which is going to be super fun. And it's got three parts to it. There's a part that'll have all of our manufacturing technology. The middle of that will have a great place to both teach and make things. So it'll be an open space with lots of huge monitors on the wall where students can be putting up computer-aided design. And then there'll be a student lounge slash makerspace part for students to go down there. And if they're working on a project and they want to work till two in the morning, they've got a good space to do it. It has a lift up doors so that we can open it up for natural ventilation, some decks for the students fully insulated, conditioned, and uh, so that the spaces will be used for students and not just for storage and be a much more comfortable space to work. So I am so excited to finally see this 5,200 square foot engineering facility take shape where, where we can get our hands dirty, get dirt under the fingernails, get the applied design thinking and get it ingrained, a practical element to that that really rounds out the entire mechanical engineering curriculum here. Westmont is well positioned to produce the next generation of engineering and science and technology leaders. Combined with the GLC, the new engineering facility, it's a powerful combination. Since we're a Christian college, we, we want to focus on the morality of our decisions. And with engineering, we're building things that impact people's lives. And so we want to make sure um, that we're building it for the right reasons. What does that mean? Yeah, I think his balance has improved since last time. For me, it goes back to what Jesus said when somebody asked him, what are the two great commandments, right? Love Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, but then love other people. And my hopes would be that students would begin through the course of our program to develop a picture of what they think God wants them to do with this set of technical skills, as well as the rich liberal arts foundation that they'll have and the design innovation parts. We're gonna really be able to help some people with this. What does it look like for them to engage with, with the world and use those skills in productive and fun ways?